Right, so typically what you tend to do is see a lot of written material on sampling, but here we have a good example of some um, numerical work, which is not bad. The point here with stratified sampling is that we want to get a representative sample, um, even though it is still randomized. So classic example, think of the fact that there are 100 people in a room and there are 80 men and 20 women. Now, you could go in there and say, if you imagine you wanted a sample of 10, you could go in there and just try and pick 10 randomly. You probably might end up most likely picking up. Fair enough probability says that eight of these, even on a probable situation, might be men, totally random, two women. You might get seven men, three women, you know. You might get chances that you could get all men if it's random. So what you insist on doing is to make sure that you stratify so you make sure you separate the men from the women. So you pick eight men and two women. So you clearly get that sample that you need because you want something representative. So exactly the same thing has been applied here. So we're saying that you're going to have a thousand interviewee interviews and these are the number of customers. And so you want to get these, you want, you want that sample of a thousand from these people to be representative of the, the weight of, their, of these people. So you want to get the total first. So add all these together, 23,000 plus this, plus this, plus this, and write the answer there first. Just get what, what we're working with, 23,500 plus 24,000 plus 41,500 plus 54,000, and you have 143,000. Okay, great stuff. So you have that. So the next thing is to now say, well, what percentage of this thousand is going to, is it will sit here? So you're going to have 23,500 divided by 143,000 times a thousand and you're going to do the same thing right across so let's do that right so 23,500 as a fraction 23,500 um, divided by 143000 times a thousand is 164 so just get rid of this so you have 100 you have 160 um, um, yeah, it's all coming up. Let me just check again to make sure that my adding is right because I would have hoped that this would have come up nicely. Oh, it says round up to the nearest whole number. Okay, great. So, um, yeah, it was 164 then. Okay, great. Um, so you now have 24,000 time divided by 143,000 times 1,000 of course, and that's 168 because you're rounding up. Great stuff. And then you now have 41,500 divided by 143,000 times um, 1,000. You have 290. And here you have 54,000 divided by 143,000 times 1,000, which is 378. 378. And let's add those together. Um, 378 plus 290, plus 168, plus 164, gives us a 1,000, right? So that's how we get our sample. So like I said, add these together, and then as a pr proportion, as you can see there, there, this being the highest has the highest number, and we're there. And of course, this is good because you can apply this literally all the way through 74, 70, um, 73, 74, 75, 76, um, 77, and 78, applying literally the same, the same principle. Cool, great stuff.